Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Megan and I own multiple small businesses, specifically Etsy shops. And in today's video is the first of my market slash craft fair prep series. So in today's video, I'm going to be kind of doing a lot of different things, mo mostly making smaller items for my, sh for my uh, craft fair coming up. It's on November 13th and right now it's the first, so I'm running out of time. But um, I have a couple, uh, two weeks to prepare, so I feel pretty good about that. So in today's video, we're going to be making some scrunchies. Uh, right now, I'm waiting for sublimation uh, paper to come in the mail um, in order to make the tags for the scrunchies. And I also am making gift card tags. Um, here's an example of one. So it's an embroidered gift tag. I'm going to put a hole in this. This one has Santa and then there's a little um, area for the gift card or money or whatever, what may have you or whatever the saying is. And then here's another one. So I made four of these and then I have three of these ready to go. Um, these for, I make three at a time and it took 84 minutes. So I don't think I'm going to make any more of these. I just want to make something that's super quick and easy to make. Um, and these definitely didn't take as long. I think it probably took around uh, 40, 50 minutes to make. Um, so it's much more reasonable. And usually once you set down the applique pieces and just do the color changes, you can just up and leave it. It's not like you have to move anything around or anything like that. Um, so I have those prepared. I also have some knit scarves that I've been working on. Um, mostly like mustard color um, and kind of Christmassy colors as well. Um, and since I'm from upstate New York, I'm going to make orange and blue scarves um, for Syracuse University. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, let's see, what else are we going to do today? Also, we are going to be making some key fobs. I've made some in the past and I have a ton of vinyl because I tried to make some of these vaccination card holders and I thought they were a really cool idea but nobody bought them. Um, so I have a ton of vinyl from my punk broidery that I have left over so I'm going to make some of the key fobs with that. Um, I'm going to make shorter ones and then longer ones that you can fit around your wrist. Uh, so that's kind of the plan for today. Um, if you love tutorials and different things like that and I'm also again this is a series so I'm going to have more videos for this. Um, including how overall I'm preparing, how I'm keeping track of inventory, and just overall what kind of cheap ideas um, you can do to prepare for a craft show. So if this sounds like something that's right up your alley, please give this video a thumbs up um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And now let's get working. All right, so I have my next set of gift card holders here. Um, all the applique pieces are down and I just started the satin stitches as you can see. Um, so this is going to be, the design is going to look like this. Um, however, you can see that I did use different fabrics, but however, you can kind of understand the same concept. And then I'm going to do the border in green. Um, so right now, it's going to work on stitching out this middle section with Joy, Love, Family, and Christmas. Um, so that's going to be in here. Um, and yeah, and then here are the other pieces I have for it as well. So this will be the back lining, and this will be for the pocket, which I have folded over. Um, and please let me know if you guys would like to see tutorial for this. Um, I'm thinking of planning on doing kind of a vlogmas sort of thing of different items you can make for Christmas. And this is pretty much right up the alley. Um, so if you want to see something like that, again, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below on what tutorials you would love to see me do. And now let's move on to our next project. All right, so I got my vinyl here. I have the key fob parts. I highly doubt I'm gonna have enough to get as many as I wanna get done. However, it is a start. So let's open up the first one. So this first one is like a purple geometric pattern that I think is really cool. And these are 12 inches long. Um, this one's fairly thin. Let me get out one of the key fobs here. Huh. Just trying to figure out how I want to cut it. Like if I want to do it like that and then fold it over. Um, let's see, I'll just do one as an example. Um, I'll do it like 
this way. Get my pen. Alright, so this I'm going to do like two by two inches because this is uh, one inch thick just to see how it turns out. Find the lines here. Oop, and it's unraveling. That's great. So I'm going to cut this out. Is that a one? Yeah, that's two inches. Okay. Just making sure. I'm going to fold it in half and try to fold it in and see if I can easily fit it into the key fob, which I can. So that's perfect. So obviously I would sew, if I folded it in half, I would sew about I would say an eighth of an inch with it from the sides and then maybe like another two lines of stitching in the middle. Um, my main concern was this raw edge, um, but I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do for my key fobs. At least that's one's done. Um, again, I'm gonna do some longer ones, so fold it in half. As you can see, you can easily fit it over your wrist. Um, and then I might do some smaller ones, maybe ones that are like eight inches. So then when you fold it over, it'll be about four inch, well, maybe nine inches. Let me try this out. Let's see if you can see the pen. Oh, perfect. I'll do it on the back so you don't see any of that. So I will do eight inches by two inches again. Make sure everything's all nicely lined up. So that's what that would look like folded in half. I actually think that's really almost, well, maybe a little longer. Let's see, fold it in half. Let me get some clips to show how it'll look. But I really like this purple color. I think it's really cool. All right, so there it is, and this is what it'll look like folded in half, and then my key fob is here. I actually think that's perfect. So then that's just a, like a little little thing to add. Um, so I'll put the key fob there, um, and again, I'll sh show you what the finished product will look like for both, and yeah, when we meet up again, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the finished product. Um, again, this is the one that is 12 inches long. You can easily put it around your wrist and it's just perfect. 
And then this one is also great to just quickly grab and go. Um, if it's attached to your keys, it's not super bulky and in the way of anything. Um, like if you're rummaging through your purse, you can easily find this. Um, so in regards to pricing, I'm thinking maybe $10 for this one and five or six for this one, and probably six because it's only four inches shorter than this one. Um, so let me know what you guys think about those prices, if they're on point, if I should go higher or lower. Again, like I said, this is my first ever craft fair, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but luckily, there is another craft fair in my area that's a few days before um, my craft fair. So I might just go over there and check out their prices and what they sell um, and see if they're selling. Um, and just kind of to get ideas on what I'm doing. So as you can see here... I have a whole thing of vinyl, um, and these are, I only have this amount of key fobs, so I think I'm going to go on Amazon and buy a bulk of these, um, but for now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the strips and sew them down, uh, so this is a nice pink color, this is white, I believe, or no, this is like this, the other one, except it's like a white geometric one, it's just like the purple one. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I have a ton of that for my punk broidery. Um, so if you're looking for a thin, high quality vinyl, I recommend that you check them out. Um, and I'll include their link in my description. So now, um, I'm going to finish working on the key fobs as, or not the key fobs, the ta Christmas tags, as you can see, they're over there ready for the next step. So I'm just going to crank those out and get those done. Um, and we'll start working on cutting out the scrunchies. All right, so just a little update is I cut out the rest of that roll of vinyl, and again, I did it two inches thick, um, just so I can just start sewing them one after the next. And I'm gonna do that for the rest of my vinyl pieces. I'm gonna separate them to darker colors, where I'm gonna use black thread, and then lighter colors where I'm gonna use white thread. All right, so now I'm gonna start sewing my project. So again, I'm gonna fold it in half, wrong sides together, and I'm going to clip the edges with magic clips, and I'm going to align up the edges, and then I'm going to make a nice crease, and then I'm gonna sew about one eighth of an inch from each side. <laughs>
So as you can see, I'm going for the white geometric fabric. Um, unfortunately, I didn't end up using this because every time I tried to sew it, it would just bubble up and create creases and it just didn't look nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the any loose threads and I'll do that right now. So here are all the key fobs that I made. As you can see, I think I used about seven colors. I used a multitude. I used bright colors and darker colors and just colors that I thought that people would enjoy. So again, I did long versions and short versions. And here I included the scrunchies that I made. Although I didn't make them in this video, I wanted to include a clip so you guys can see what they look like. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Oh.